you to look at the month of April for Libras. Your best days in April are going to be the 4th, 5th, and 6th. This is when the moon sign will be in Libra, and this is when you are at high tide. The Mercury retrograde that begins on April 21st will allow you to repeat what has been a prosperous time. When the moon sign or your ruling planet, Venus, passes through Libra, we all experience the seventh house tendency to be overly honest with our constructive criticism. And now here's a look at April for the air sign Libra. And we'll begin with Libras in love. In the first week of the month, what has uh, happened came into being so you can show other people how to accept the ups and downs of life and do it with grace. In week number two, you are the one with the plan. The others around you are just waiting to be led, and they uh, want you to take them into the future. In week number three, losses come to make you better. So learn as you progress to the um, higher levels. And in week number four, you're here to show others how it's done, so set a good example for them. Now here's a look at your career in the month of April. In the first week of the month, it's time to quit waiting for the perfect time. It is time now to put your plans into action. And in week number two, money and health are being withheld until you clear your connection to the spirit world by asking for and then using the answers that you uh, need. In week number three, your health is how your guiding spirits manipulate your actions. So pay attention to the, the signs, the omens, and the dreams, the visions, sure, but also to your own state of health. And in week number four, poor health is a sure sign that your spirit guides are attempting to change your path. Now, here's a look at uh, April in your finances. Week number one is the time to make investments. And what they are saying is that invest in what affects your heart through your eyes and ears. And that could be the entertainment industry. In uh, week number two, when a job morphs from uh, work into play, you know you're in the right place and you know that you're with the right people that you can uh, stay with. In week number three, you take off from one place and land in another altogether. And this mistake is necessary to put you where you need to be at the, uh, the right time. Then in the fourth week of the month, you're able to go to the one who needs you most and with their help, accomplish what you have been uh, dreaming of, what you've been trying to put together in your mind. So that's a look at the days in April. That's according to your sun sign. And now here's a look at your nights in April. This according to the uh, moon sign. In week number one, the week of the full moon, which will rise in Libra, the dreams and the visions that come to you this week are about your intimate relationships and they will show you where you stand right now in the eyes of your um, other. And in week number two, the week of the last quarter of the moon that will rise in Virgo. So the dreams, the visions that come this week will show the, uh, the worth of your habits, what you're doing to yourself, both the good and bad side there. And in week number three, the week of the new moon that will rise in Taurus, the dreams, the visions that come now are about material world possessions that you will receive in the future if you're willing to put in the work right now. In week number four, the week of the first quarter moon, which uh, rises in Leo, 
So the dreams, the visions that come now are a wake-up call from your inner child inviting you to come play. Stop being so serious. That's a look at the month of April for the air sign Libra. If you like what you see here, please hit the subscribe button.